Consider the statement, if Trina runs, then she drinks a sports drink. For this implication, we will assume the statement, Trina runs, is the statement P, and Trina drinks a sports drink as the statement Q, which means we can express the given implication as if P, then Q. We're asked to find the converse, contrapositive, and inverse of the original implication or original statement. Let's look at our notes below. Assuming the implication is if P then Q, then the converse is if Q then P. The converse is not logically equivalent to the original implication, which means whether the converse of the implication is true is independent of the truth of the implication. If the implication is if P then Q, then the contrapositive is if not Q then not P. The contrapositive is equivalent to the original implication meaning they're both true or both false. And then finally, the inverse of if P then Q is if not P then not Q. The inverse is not logically equivalent to the original implication, but it is logically equivalent to the converse. So number one, again, we're asked to find the converse of the original statement, and the converse of if P then Q is if Q then P which in our case would be, if Trina drinks a sports drink, then she runs. Number two, what is the contrapositive of the original statement? If the original statement is if P then Q, then the contrapositive is if not Q then not P, which in our case would be, if Trina does not drink a sports drink, then Trina does not run. And then finally, the inverse of if P then Q is if not P then not Q, which in our case is if Trina does not run, then she does not drink a sports drink. I hope you found this helpful.